Hey, this is Adam Ginsberg, and welcome to episode number five, how to turn $1,000 into $100,000 using Bolo Search. Just as a reminder, as we begin every one of these sessions, we make no income claims or promises. Your results will vary. And every member of the Internet Mastery community that is using this technology has made an investment into access to the platform. With that being said, let's talk about our Internet Mastery community and where we are at, where we have come since episode number four. So as we take a look at our live leaderboard, we can see that sales of our Internet Mastery community are now at 152,108,749 dollars and 58 cents. And as the numbers continue to rise, this is somewhere in the neighborhood of $2 million in sales since episode number four. And what I love about this live leaderboard is number one, it's public. If you scroll down to beneath this video, you'll see a link directly to the leaderboard. So at the time of the filming, we're at 152,100,000. But you can see in real time what's going on in our Internet Mastery community. These are real people with real results. And when we talk about the ability for people to succeed, the ability for people to create that financial freedom that they're looking for, this is true and pure social proof. There's nothing like it to be able to understand that if you want to have the results that you desire, you just simply need to follow a system. You need to be open and you need to be coachable. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So in this episode of the Bolo Search, what I really want to do is simple. I want to find a deal. I want to buy that deal. I want to submit that item to Amazon. I want to list it in my account. And I want to submit the item to the prep center. So this episode may not be as lengthy as some of the others, but I thought it would be really good for you to see the entire process from the beginning all the way through to completion. What I want you to understand is that this is a turnkey opportunity. And what I mean by that is that it doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what city, state, or country you reside in. It doesn't matter where you do the business as long as you have access to the internet. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me what your background is, how old you are, how much money you have, whether you went to college or not, whether you have a job or not, whether English is your first, second, or third language. None of that really matters as long as you can follow a system. If you're open and coachable, and then you understand the power of what this opportunity is, just think about that. The first thing that you'll do when every single Monday when new deals come out is you'll take a look at your Bolo deals. Now, remember that some will be low-hanging fruit, some will need to be reverse engineered, and some will not work for you at this time. And that's okay. The Bolo deals are simply opportunities to help you expand on your business. In talking to many of our students that are really succeeding with the Bolo deals, one of the things that is a common theme is that only 10 to 15% of the items that they are selling are the actual Bolo deals. And then the other 80 to 85% of the items that they're selling are things that they have found that they can sell as a result of the Bolo deals. Now, of course, if there were no Bolo deals, they never would have found those items in the first place. So that really justifies and validates how powerful the Bolo deals are. So every Monday, new deals are pushed into your account. You look at those Bolo deals and you determine based on your own education, your own insight, and all of the metrics and the data that's provided, which ones are a good fit for you. You then simply go to the retailer's website and make that purchase. Now, of course, you want to list the item before you make the purchase. But the point is, you evaluate the deals, you list it in your Amazon account, and you buy it, and then you submit it to the prep center. The prep center will receive the inventory, and then they will send it off to Amazon for you. 
So it doesn't matter if you're an overwater bungalow in Tahiti. It doesn't matter if you live in Australia or Singapore or Mexico or the UK or Canada. At the end of the day, we know that Amazon.com is the largest marketplace in the world for not only buyers, but sellers on Amazon. Most people who live outside of the U.S. have no ability to take advantage of selling on Amazon.com without a system like this. And thankfully, not only are you watching this video, but this system is the only one of its kind in the world. I also want to, just very briefly before we do a live example here, talk with you about the power of the prep center. So we built this prep center technology that is unlike anything that's ever been created. And the ability for you to have no inventory stored at your house, not to have a warehouse, not to have employees, the ability for you to grow and scale a business hands-free is incredible. And what most people who are just starting to sell on Amazon don't understand because they've never experienced it is the sheer cost of growing the business. So you're going to be buying from retailers in this case. You're going to be selling them on Amazon, and you're going to make a certain net profit. But if you factored in the cost of employees and warehousing and boxes and bubble wrap and tape and all of the things that are required to scale your business to a $10,000 a month, $25,000 a month, $100,000 a month or more business, when you factor in all of those costs and expenses to run the business, it eats up all of your profit, let alone the time that it takes and the overhead that you have to incur and the management of the process. So the prep center just in and of itself is something that is extraordinary. And what's really interesting is that people who have been selling on Amazon for a considerable amount of time understand the value. But somebody who's brand new to selling on Amazon might not realize the power of what the prep center offers. Here's what I can tell you. When we look at that leaderboard, the majority of the people who are moving up the leaderboard at very fast pace, by the way, are all using the prep center. So just know that that is part of this opportunity that you have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into uh, the Bolo deals that are in my account, and let's see what we have this week to see if we can learn anything from them and determine which ones we want to source. All right, so I'm here in my account, and the one thing you can see is that since I started making this video in the first place, uh, the leaderboard has actually gone up by 91 orders and $1,176 in sales, and of course, it will continue to rise. I'm going to head up here to the Bolo deals, and let's take a look and see what is in this account. I'll close the window here, and I'll start to just take a look. So we've got a Pokemon Nintendo Switch, three monthly estimated buys. We also have a Zero, the Prophecy of the Throne PS4 game. We can see here that this is 3.75 monthly estimated buys. We have an Ember car charger. Now we can see here that this is in the red. So let me just differentiate and explain something. If I go ahead and click on Spy Rivals Lookup, there are actually two different aspects to this. You'll notice here that at the top of this page, this is green. So the estimated daily sales are three, the estimated monthly buys are 6.9. And yet, when we look at our Bolo search results, we can see that it says FBM in green, but then it has red in this element here. So what we're looking at is the profitability of this item shows red. Now, one of the things I want you to understand about Bolo search and about pricing is that, number one, prices on Amazon's change all the time. And down the road, not right now, but down the road, we'll talk with you about the idea of having an AI repricer. And an AI repricer is an artificial intelligence system that moves your pricing up and down automatically based on your competitors. And it is a very slick opportunity for you to really maximize your profit and maintain 
the buy box in a way that is not possible if you're doing it on your own. Again, we'll get into that in a, in a future Bolo Search video. But what I want you to understand is when the deals are uploaded, they're at a certain price point. But then as the Amazon sellers change their pricing, it might reflect differently in the search results. So it might be a positive green one day and a negative red the other day. The other thing that you want to understand is that sometimes the buy box price is held by an FBM seller, a fulfilled by merchant seller. And those numbers that are reflected in the technology do not show whether or not that FBM seller has free shipping or not. At the end of the day, though, the reality is that FBM is not a comparative, relevant thing that you should be looking at. What we want to do is we want to compare ourselves to all of the FBA sellers. Now, why is FBA so much better than FBM? Well, FBM or fulfillment by merchant means that if you're an Amazon Prime buyer, you are not going to buy that item from that seller unless they are the only opportunity that you have to buy it. The reason that Amazon Prime is such an amazing opportunity for the buyers is because your items come same day, next day, day after that. I just purchased uh, some new camera equipment and I, I wanted it right away. Now, I could go to the stores and do that. Some of the things were in stock and some were not, but that was a lot of work. So what I was looking at was the opportunity to get the equipment and have it delivered as fast as possible. Well, what I realized was this particular, I was in, in looking into a camera and some other, again, some other photography equipment, but I'll just use the camera as an example. The camera was $1,700. And when I buy the camera, it's delivered prime and comes the next day. Now, I could have bought the camera for $1,660. I could have saved $40, but that camera was not going to come for seven to 10 days. That did not suit my purpose. So I, along with 99% of all prime buyers, are much more willing to pay a little bit more to get it right away. Another reason why FBA is so powerful is simply because Amazon does all the fulfillment. And so again, buyers understand that if they have any customer service questions or there's any issues or problems or challenges, it is much easier to get those resolved as a buyer if you're buying FBA and not FBM. There's a lot of reasons why FBA is so much more powerful. But at a very high level, let me just give you a statistic. Items that are sold FBA, items that are sold FBA sell six times more than items that are sold FBM. Six times. So by making sure that your items are FBA or fulfilled by Amazon, you will sell more, period. That, that's the end of that conversation. But going back to the price point, we notice that even though in this particular example it's red, it might actually be green if there's an opportunity to do FBA. So let's take a quick peek and see what those numbers really look at so we can understand what's going on with this item. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a look at the listing on Amazon. And we know that this buy price is $49.99 at Best Buy and $39.99 is the sell price. Obviously, that presents itself a problem. So actually, I'll take a look at Best Buy first just to confirm it is $49.99. We can also see that the buy box is held by an FBM seller. So I'll click on the ASIN and it'll take me over to uh, this particular item where you can see that the item is on sale for $39.99. Now, in this particular case, this $39.99 actually is an FBA seller. So it looks as if the FBM might have already sold out. We can also see here that there are two other sellers, and this is something that's really important to understand. If we look at the seller that's currently selling this item, you'll see here that the item is not expected to be delivered until January 7th to 10th 
at $39.99. So the pr item is FBA, but because of the way the process works this time of the year while we're filming this video, you can see here that this particular item will not be delivered to the customer if you buy it for seven to 10 days. Now, just for sake of understanding, from the date that I'm filming this video, if we were to buy that particular item, it wouldn't come for 20 plus days. So if I need that item, well, I'm not gonna buy it from that seller. The price is $39.99, but the item doesn't come for almost three weeks. But at the end of the day, if I want the item now, I'm gonna have to pay the price that the seller who can have it delivered based on their Amazon inventory, and that is the competitive or comparative price that we'd look at. So let's take a look and see uh, what that really looks like. So we can see here that the $39.99 price is simply based on an item that isn't going to be delivered for weeks and weeks. If I wanted the item to arrive sooner, what you'll see here is that the uh, the next option is $71.74. And then the next option after that is uh, $85. Now, this $71.74 item is actually fulfilled by the merchant. The Amazon FBA price, if I wanted it now, within a day or two, is $85. So when I'm doing my pricing, I would compare that profitability point from my $49.99 purchase price to my $85 sale price. Now, there's a lot going on here that we need to unpack. But what I want you to just think about is that this might not be the right item for you, even if it's selling, even if it's at that price. Why? Because if you're going to sell this item and it's this time of the year of when this video is being filmed, then you're not going to be able to have it fulfilled in the next couple of days anyway. So let's just take a quick peek at the history of the item and see if that tells us anything as well. So back here on the Bolo Deals page, I want to click the Spy Rivals lookup. And I want to determine the profitability of this item. So what I'll do is I'll enter the $49.99 price and then the 85 FBA price and see my profitability. And what you can see is that the item is actually profitable at a rate of 32%. Now let's take a look at the historical data. So on this graph, without getting too far into depth with it, we can see some very interesting things. We can see what the price point has been over the last uh, six or seven months or so. We can see that. And so we can use this information to make a determination on whether or not this is an item that we would want to use long term. But for this specific case, I'm going to go ahead and skip this item. I just wanted you to understand that just because the pricing shows up as red as a Bolo search result doesn't necessarily mean it's red. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that you need to analyze it and then use your own judgment and your own insight into making your decision. Let's go ahead now and see if we can find a Bolo deal that we can list, buy, and submit. So now I'm back here in my Bolo deals and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and take a look and see if anything looks of interest to me. So we've got the hex bug. Uh, we've got the Disney Toy Story. We've got the LOL surprise. Uh, we've got the Versum cello strings. It's a lot of different aspects and a lot of different opportunities here. Let's take a look at this one. This is the Square Collection of Mana Nintendo Switch game. And what we see here is that in this particular example, we can see that the daily estimated sales are 13.38 and the monthly estimated buys are 30. And it's a reminder, monthly estimated buys will estimate for you the number that you should be purchasing.
that we've talked at length about a concept called velocity, where we're going to buy the inventory with the goal of selling that inventory as fast as possible. So the monthly estimated buys are the number of deals that you potentially could sell in the first 30 to 45 days. I always caution new people to err on the side of being a little bit more conservative. So maybe take that number and multiply it by 50% or 60%. Once you know that the item is selling, you can go back and order more. But in the beginning, it's better to have more individual SKUs and less quantity of each. It's much better to go wide than it is to go deep when you are doing your initial inventory and you're starting out doing the business. So let's go and take a quick peek and see uh, what else we can notice about this item. So we know that we can sell about 30 of these units every month. We can see that there are 31 competitive sellers. We can see that our buy price is $10.99 and our sell price is $31.42 leaving us a net profit of $10.14 or 92%. So in this particular example, we're looking at a 30 unit monthly sell through with a $10 profit per unit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Best Buy just to confirm that the item is in stock. And the item is, in fact, in stock. It is on clearance for $10.99. So the next phase in this process is to list the item before we buy it. So I'm going to click on the Spy Rivals Lookup button. And this is going to tell me whether or not I can actually sell this item. So we have the list on Amazon tab in the middle. And, of course, we can look at the historical data, see what's happening. But we're going to list the item. And the way that we list the item is very simple. So we're going to enter in our listing price of $31.39. We will select our account and click on list on Amazon. And that's it. No, that's it, really. <laughs> We've just listed the item on Amazon. Too often, people get very confused with Amazon Seller Central and all the different things that have to be done within a typical Amazon seller account. In this case, with this technology built on the Spy Rivals platform, we can list our items on Amazon with one click. Now, it does take Amazon about 15 minutes for this inventory to be added to our account. Whether you listed it on Amazon directly or you're listing it with Spy Rivals, it can take up to 15 minutes. I also want you to understand that in order for this process to effectively work with the prep center, your Amazon account and your Internet Mastery account need to sync together. That process, depending on the time of the year, can take anywhere from three to five hours. So once we've listed the item for sale, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to buy the inventory. So I'm going to head over to Best Buy. I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go buy the inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've bought the inventory, and by the way, I bought 20 units of that item. Now that I bought that inventory and the way that I bought that inventory was I submitted it directly to the prep center. So when we're buying from major retailers, Best Buy, Costco, Bath & Body Works, Bed Bath & Beyond, Macy's, Belk, Toys R Us, wherever we're buying from. If you buy a certain amount, they will always provide you with free shipping. So you're not going to send the items to your house. You're going to send them directly to the prep center. The way you do that is when you're filling out the checkout form, you would put your info in the first name and last name fields. But in the address fields, you would use the address of the prep center. The important aspect to this is that you make sure that you submit the prep form before the items arrive at the prep center. And for some reason, sometimes people just miss that. That's okay. When you're learning, we understand things are going to happen. But when you're utilizing the prep center, you would buy the items. And instead of sending them to your house the way you normally would, you would send them direct to the prep center. Again, just think about this. This is a business you can literally do from anywhere in the world. Let's say you like to go on a cruise 
and it's a seven day cruise and you're in four different ports and you're doing your business and your life and your family and you're having a good time and all that kind of good stuff. Well, do you know that when you're sitting at the pool, you can open up the laptop or the tablet, you can buy some of the Bolo deals, you can submit them to the prep center and then go have a buffet dinner or a lunch or go to the club or maybe play some blackjack, whatever it is you wanna do, maybe go on an excursion. It doesn't matter where you are. And when you understand that, the lifestyle and the freedom that this provides and that you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours product sourcing because the Bolo deals are gonna help in that way and then you can submit it to the prep center, this might be the greatest opportunity. Oh, by the way, and you can even write off part of the cruise. Now, I can't give you tax advice. I'm not an accountant. But if you're working on the cruise and you're doing business on the cruise, I can tell you from past experience that if you do this on day one, there's a possibility you might actually make some sales while you're still on the cruise. Now, it depends on the length of the cruise, okay? If you're on a three-day cruise, it's not going to happen. Even a seven-day cruise, probably not going to happen. But a four-day cruise, a 21-day cruise, you'll be actually selling things on Amazon that you sourced at the beginning of the trip, and that would be really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and do just a quick recap of what we've done so far. The first thing that we looked at was the different deals that are in our account, the different Bolo opportunities. We found one that we liked and we checked a few things. Number one, what's the velocity? Is it selling? And the answer was yes, it's selling about, we could sell about 30 units a month. The second thing that we looked at was the profitability and obviously it's in the right price point range from the analysis that we did. We then listed the item on Amazon using our Spy Rivals account. So we know that the item is not restricted or gated. If it was, it would tell us that. And this said, no listing restrictions apply. So that was a very simple process as well. We listed the item on Amazon, and then we went to Best Buy and we bought those items. And in this case, I bought 20 of them just to be a little bit more conservative. Now, the final part of the process is to complete the prep form. Now, here's the good news. The good news is when you place the order wherever you place it with whatever vendor you place it with, it's going to take somewhere between three days and seven days for that item to arrive. It doesn't arrive the same day. It doesn't arrive the next morning. So the, what you'll want to do before the items arrive is complete a prep form. Now, some people want to complete the prep form immediately after listing the item and buying the inventory. Unfortunately, it's not real time. And the backup, by the way, the delays are coming from Amazon, not from Internet Mastery. It's a communication back and forth, which gets delayed by a few hours. So what you would do is you'd either continue sourcing and doing more of the same or just take a break. Do whatever you need to do for the day, come back in a few hours and submit the item to the prep center. And that's what I'm going to do. So once again, I'll pause the video. I'll go do some of the things that I need to do. When I get back, the item will be available. So I will be able to list it and walk you through the prep form. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Excellent. So now that my Amazon account has synced with my Internet Mastery account, I'll be able to submit the item to the prep center. In this particular instance, it took about 42 minutes for this process to take place. Depending on the time of the year, it could be as little as 15 minutes. It could be as long as four or five hours. It really depends on how Amazon is dealing with a backlog of information on the Amazon site. The one thing that I really want to reiterate with the prep center, actually, there's two points I want to reiterate. The first one is the freedom that it provides, the ability, as I mentioned, to be on a cruise, be on vacation, be at work. You can be a truck driver, a nurse. You can have a family. You can really have this flexibility of being anywhere and not having to receive the items, package them, ship them, and all of that related to sending the items to FBA, to Amazon for FBA. It's a big deal, and it makes a huge difference in the overall growth of your business. 
The second point that I want to make sure you understand is that when you are selling on Amazon and you're doing retail arbitrage, for example, you're looking for profit margins that enable you to be profitable in the business itself, we can figure out a way to make that happen. Now, margins are still tight in some cases, but the reality is that as you grow and scale your business, most people don't understand the costs involved with having a warehouse, having employees, having the boxes and the bubble wrap and all of the materials on hand. And that additional expense can literally eat away all of your profit and more. So the benefits of the prep center and this technology that we have developed for you as an Amazon seller go beyond just the freedom, even though that is a sizzle point. It's really about your profitability. And then when you combine those things together, it becomes an extraordinary opportunity. So let me go ahead and head over to the prep center within my Internet Mastery account, and I'll submit the the item so that we can complete the process. All right, the next step is to create a new prep center submission form. There's just a few fields that need to be filled out. The process is fairly simple and straightforward. I'll simply take the product information field and type in Nintendo Switch Collection of Mana. And then in the select product or ASIN, I can simply start typing and it will pull up the item that I listed. I'll click on the blue uh, ASIN here and it will bring it to above the line. It enters the SKU automatically. I'll click the quantity field and enter the number 20. And of course my shipping source is uh, Best Buy. And then the last step in the process is to click Submit. Once I do that, the prep form will be submitted and the prep center will be notified that this item is on the way. And of course, they will take it from there once it arrives. And that's the process of submitting a prep form to the prep center. And there you have it. Mission complete. We've achieved the success that we were looking for. We logged into our Internet Mastery account we found a bolo deal. We listed the item on Amazon. We bought the item and we submitted the item to the prep center. In this particular case, we should be able to sell approximately 20 units of that item in 30 days or so, which is about $200 in net profit after all the fees, all the shipping. The ROI is approximately $200. Now, if you only did that once a week, that would be a nice little side income. It's about $800 a month. Of course, next month, we're going to be able to reorder the items that we submitted today. So this is a business that continues to build and it continues to grow. There is so much to learn, but the most important thing for you to do to be successful in this business, to grow $1,000 in inventory, to $100,000 is to be buying inventory and submitting it to the prep center. Listen, all the information in the world is not going to get you where you want to go. I know some really, really, really dumb, rich people. I do. I also know some really, really, really smart, broke people. At the end of the day, it's not what you know. It's what you do with what you know. And in this particular instance, you're armed with the opportunities and the experiences to be able to turn them and then turn them and then turn them again. So these videos are great. If you haven't watched numbers one, two, three, and four of this Bolo series, please make sure to do that. It's best if you watch them in order. Of course, if you're hearing now on episode number five, telling you to watch them in order and you haven't done that yet, go back and watch them again. Make sure that you click the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. This weekly episodic series will continue to evolve and continue to provide insight, strategy, information, and inspiration to help you grow your Amazon business. So thanks so much for watching episode number five. I'll see you in the next episode.